So let's let's dive a little bit deep into that because obviously, uh, and thank you for sharing that about you know that this journey you've been on and where you've been, where you feel you are now. Um, and, and I think one of the most important pieces of that is that it is just that it is a journey. It's not that you have reached a point. You are still day by day, minute by minute, week by week, however you want to look at it, growing, evolving, taking in new information and sorting it out, right? Because, it, And I think a lot of people take that approach is once I figure this out, I, I'm, it's set and I'm done with it. And it's not that at all, uh, especially when you talk about that inner conversation. Uh, and, you know, one of the things that I always share when you're talking about that that little person on your shoulder that's, you know, whispering in your ear or um, the split levels of how that happens one is the conscious piece of it. The other is the subconscious piece. And that's where the real danger is from a self-awareness standpoint or just being aware that there is this tape that's playing at a subconscious level too. And even though consciously you may be tr trying to be positive and see the light and, and look at things, you know, as something that's going to move you forward, there's still the subconscious thing that's there that you really need to make sure you're aware and tap into because it can be sending those counter messages and that can be very subversive and, and you not understand that. Have you had any of those, those kinds of experiences as you've kind of worked your way through this? Yeah, it's, I mean, I mean, if I'm, I don't want to sound just um, harsh. Um, I don't want to accentuate it too much, but there's a, there's a battle that rages. Yeah. I mean, there's the part of you that is, you know, I'm very optimistic. I mean, a very optimistic person by nature. Mm -hmm. But there's this other part of me, which is, you know, it's related to self-esteem um, and some of the things, maybe some of the trauma you've had in your life, how you were conditioned. You know, I mean, we, we had that discussion many, many times before. So you fight that small battle. I where I'm at right now is I've done so much work over this last two, you know, year and a half, two years to correct a lot of that and to to keep me upright and, and, and looking forward that it's a smaller conversation now, you know, it used to, you know, you used to, you know, you used to be, it was over 50%. Now it's probably 25% that, that it has a, you know, has a hold of me. So I typically, uh, I'm able to knock it down a little faster and, and then we don't stay with that. So in other words, it's like something, it's something, it's like you get a ticket. Let's let's look at it like this. Let's just say I'm driving down the highway and I get a ticket. Used to be I'd just be so upset. You just ruin your day, the whole nine yards. And now it's like if I get the ticket, right, wrong, or indifferent, whether I was actually at fault or not, it's like it's just a ticket. It's literally just a ticket. I got stuff to do. I got you know I got the the train has to keep going. So what I'm saying is. Don't get stuck in because don't get stuck in that moment because it's just a moment. You know what I mean? Self-doubt should just be a moment and it should actually spark. It should spark you to go in and to keep it moving. It should challenge you to keep it going. You know, 